It's deep. It's a deep couch, bro. Missing cushions. Hello, my name's Frank Castillo, and I am sick. Uh, my <laughs> name, <laughs> my co-host is JP Noda. He is here with me, and he is also uh, not feeling well. What's no, up, I'm guys? Just <laughs> <laughs> we're healthy. Uh, and my guest today is a good friend of mine, fellow door guy, uh, fellow brother. In uh, give it up for Mitch Burrow. Uh, all right, I assume oh, okay. they're done clapping now. Yeah, okay, yeah. hey, da, 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 da. thanks everybody for having me on. All right, uh, welcome, man. I'm glad. Uh, you know, I I for one miss smoking in the back of the comedy store, and uh, you know, you would walk in the back and hang out with us sometimes. You're not a big smoker, are you? Never, uh, never touched the stuff. You've never oh. smoked weed before. <laughs> okay, cool. I I have. I you know I've smoked pot, but it's just not my thing. What's your thing? Uh, Coke. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. If anyone has a Coke theme podcast, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we just like it. Just like slows me down so yeah, much. Absolutely. I'm just, I'm just like, uh, uh, like if if so, I'm smoking on this podcast, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna be real boring. No, that's that's yeah, that's great. Because you know, it's, I'm not gonna be able to think and, and talk. No, that's the fun part, because like the first like, 20, 30 minutes, it's like, great, we're having fun, we talk, we reminisce on shit, and then we get really stoned, and then you just get quiet, and then we just, you know, enjoy that. Like, pretty much the only times I smoke pot, a friend of mine up in Seattle, his name's Tyler Smith, he has a show called, uh, called The Dope Show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you smoke weed, or no, you, you do a set, then you smoke weed, and then you do another set. And we've done this show. I I headlined it in the uh, in the Everett Historical Theater, which sat like eight hundred people, and it's great. But it's great because I am fucked up. Yeah. Like I don't. I just get up there and I'm immediately like, I don't know why I agreed to do this yeah. show. What's yeah. the like? What do you remember being like the most stoned? Like what was like? <coughs> in the times you've been stoned, what are what have? Oh, like- the mo- so uh, one time. Uh, so, the guy who owned the Laughs Comedy Club in, in Seattle, uh, mm-hmm. Dave Dennison, he gave me a, a a weed pill. Yeah. And then I took it, and I went to a, a, a Mariners game. They pitched a no-hitter. I fucking fell asleep. <laughs> 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 but I don't really think that was so much on the weed. But believe it or not, no-hitters are incredibly boring. <laughs> <laughs> There's no action. <laughs> but then... On. Uh, and then I did like a, a, a competition spot for the Seattle comedy competition, uh, and I, I don't remember any of it. I was like, I think I, I think I took like a hundred milligram pill. Oh shit! shit. For it. I thought it was just going to be like a twenty five or something, but I've never been that high. I was out for like two days. Holy fuck! The walls closing and everything. Are you, where, where are you from originally? I'm from, I'm from Georgia originally, where it's still illegal. Oh okay, like, like how illegal? <laughs> like I mean, you go to jail for it. I think. Uh-huh. No, you're definitely so. going I mean, to jail I, for it. <laughs> I don't live in in Georgia anymore, so I'm not real up to date with the laws. But I, I still think it's a a pretty bad one. Did you have uh, Do you have any memories of like being in Georgia and then like weed related stuff? Like, yeah, I mean, when I was in high school, like I tried it. You know, like that was the thing that I I would do then. But even then, I would like do it and just fall asleep. Like weed just makes me fall asleep. And don't give me this fucking oh, you got to find the right strain. <laughs> Or you, you, Damn you're, man, you're, we're gonna try to get you to fall sativas. asleep on this podcast, bro. You, you smoke a sativa, you gotta try indicas or what? It ain't like that uh-huh. for me. Yeah. Okay, you I don't just care what out? it is. I'm, although I, I will say, uh, Gino, yeah, mm-hmm. gave me gave me one one time that was a hybrid, and that one kind of amped me up somehow. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. was weird about it? But I've tried to replicate it, and it's never happened. What are we smoking yeah. uh, here? Well, this one's Diablo, so it's, it's a indica hybrid. But the big thing is THC itself is a sedative. Um, so even if it's like, especially now where weed's like thirty percent THC, even if it's sativa and you're not a huge smoker, like yeah. you'll fucking fall asleep. And so that's what this big thing is that you rolled in front of me here. Yeah, that one's a uh, for what it was. <coughs> oh, it was the mint. So it's indica hybrid, real nice, really tasty. Am I supposed to smoke this whole thing? You take it, or did you, you give take. this to me so I could like s- smoke it and then? Take it home with me. Enjoy it for the rest of the year. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Will that last you the rest of the year? I mean, this is a lot of weed. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll try and, and smoke the whole thing. I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's an eight. I mean, There's an eighth in there. You know, that's, this is an eight? Yeah. I think that's how much I do when I do mushrooms. Yeah. 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 Pretty much. Yeah, that's like mushrooms. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I like mushrooms. Mushrooms yeah. is great. I don't oh, mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. I, I mean, you know, we saw some shit the other day that was fucking I'm wild. never going to... Like regardless of what happens in my career as a comedian, my career in aviation is done. I will never 
be able to go back to work for Boeing. I'll never oh. get a class of a, a top secret. I didn't again. know any of this. Please elaborate. Well, I, so I was in the Marine Corps. Wait, uh-huh. I, wait. I thought it's got your uh, name on it. You, you're no, passing me a joint. This one's got the, the name of the strain on it. Okay, so that one's for you to take home. That's oh, for really? you to enjoy whatever okay. you want. Yeah, well, on your own time. All right, I'm gonna hit this then, yeah. <laughs> and then I'll tell you about my top secret clearances. <laughs> <laughs> the babyest hit. There we go. Yeah, man. You don't want to get too fucked up. <laughs> 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 Welcome That's to it. Buddies. <coughs> I like it a little bit. It's nice. <coughs> I don't like it. <laughs> uh, uh, it's it's okay. That one's called Diablo. It's uh, Skittles <coughs> and an OG. <coughs> so people just listen to this podcast, so your guest coughing for an hour, I guess. It used to be Frank coughing for an hour. Yeah, now that, now that doesn't <laughs> happen. Well, also, like, you know, I was saying... I miss smoking with all my friends at the store. Yeah. So it was like I wanted to create a podcast where it's like, you know, if you would smoke with your friends, that's what it is. You hang out, you smoke, we talk shit, and you make each other laugh and do dumb stuff till one of us falls asleep. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Well, let's see what happens. <laughs> <coughs> so when I was in the Marine Corps, I worked on uh, helicopters, and I had a- How long were you in the Marine Corps? Five years. Oh, okay. And I had a secret clearance. So what that. did you do on the helicopters? I, it's a secret, Frank. <laughs> 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 Pay attention. <laughs> okay. Uh, I did uh, airframes and hydraulics. So if something happened to the structure of the airplane, I would fix that. And then if something happened to the system that, let's say, uh, control like was the flight controls, mm-hmm. like I, I would fix that. Okay. Uh, so I, I had a secret clearance there. Then when I <coughs> got out and I started working for Boeing. Uh, I had to get a top secret clearance. Wow. Yeah. What is the process of getting? Is it just like they just do background checks and shit like that and make yeah, sure you're I had not to, high? <clears throat> I had to fill out paperwork uh, detailing uh, seven to ten years of my history mm-hmm. prior to that, that point. And then, uh, you know, you just list any kind of financial issues you might have. That makes sense. This, they kind of do the same thing with uh, working at a casino because they don't want you to... Because if they see that you have financial problems, they think of that as a risk of you potentially stealing. being like either stealing or being blackmailed or someone having something on you. Especially if you're like yeah. a pit boss or something in the casinos. But I'm sure, yeah. You know. Yeah. So they don't want they don't want like the Russian government to be able to like be like, hey, we notice you your home is being foreclosed on. Yeah, you want us to take care of that. What can what can we help you out with? Yeah, yeah, you know, something like that. So I had a top secret clearance with them. Uh, and then, you know, just working in aviation. Did you ever stuff. use that to pick up checks? Uh, nah, nah, I just, you you're know. Like, you're like, you ever meet a man with the top secret clearance? <laughs> well, I can't tell you if he did. <laughs> I don't really know what, uh, how I would do that. Um, <laughs> you just drop it on the floor. Oh, whoops, it's just his top secret <laughs> on it. Actually, we did have badges that had like a, an indicator of whether or not you had clearances. Oh. Yeah, so I, d- I did have that, that on me at all times. Yeah, yeah, I guess I really fucked up, huh? Hey, well, you want to fuck 007? <laughs> I, wish, I, wish, I wish someone like Hinchcliffe was here because they'd, they'd come up with a with a with like a fat joke. Oh, no, no. Like, I had it in my head, but oh, I love you, so I didn't what say is it. it. What was it? Oh, it was like, uh, you ever hear of Agent 007? Well, how about Agent 700? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh... Yeah, I'm trying to think of one now, too. <laughs> you like double O agents? How about triple O agents? <laughs> I'm a double O agent. It's just that uh, both O's are on top of each other. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> he's, a, wait, wait. he's a quadruple O agent, and that's when they see you. They're like, ooh, okay. <laughs> we, met, we, had, we had the whole thing. Yeah. We, we had it right in front of us the whole time. What was it? Yeah, have you ever been with a 007? Well, how about a double XL? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> don't, don't, yeah, that, that was a good one. <laughs> that was a good one. That was it. Yeah, that was the. F- you know what? I don't have to take this shit. <laughs> I don't want to join I'm leaving. <laughs> what, uh. What, what's. You're, so, okay. How, we ask the questions I, here. But um, I'm just curious. Like, how, well, you need to because. <laughs> <laughs> but how do you do this? Like, you're you're hitting your bong over here. 
Meanwhile, you're passing this around. Like, yeah, we smoke, man. To the point of, like, yeah, we just continuously like, get you're, high. You were the people that my grandparents were worried warned that you I about. Warned you about, in yeah. LA. <laughs> <laughs> two two uh, Latin dudes that are <laughs> showing you a good time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's that that. That was the, my grandfather had nightmares to the day he died about that. Whatever you do, do not smoke weed with Mexicans. All they'll do is They just, saw fucking Chi Chi Chong, man. They know They really up. did. They really did. Do you remember how old were you the first time you saw Chi Chi Chong? Did you were you a big Chi Chi Chong? No, I watched the one where they're in the car and the cop pulls them over. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep on knocking, but you can't come in. Over, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I rewatched all those recently. That shit's like Still it hold up. It still holds yeah. up. It's still ridiculous. I don't know. I don't think any old comedies hold up. It really? What? Like what? I mean, like everyone loves fucking Young Frankenstein. Okay. And I think it's the dumbest fucking shit. That I've, I've said this on like actually, I did Jay Light's podcast, and that was the movie that I said I hated was Young Frankenstein. It's a little anti-Semitic, but okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> Air- Airplane is still good. Airplane's still great. Uh, and for Mel Brooks, Blazing Saddles is still good. Uh, and Spaceballs. But Spaceballs, Spaceballs was like, up. Spaceballs wasn't as old. I think like when you, you start talking about comedies like before the 80s, that's when you really start like, like because it might not have been hacky at that time because it was the first time they did it. It's just so overdone now that it's still just, it doesn't yo, yo, hold up. You know, there was a, uh, I was looking at a, um, HBO Max, and they have, like, all those old movies, just, like, movies from, like, the 80s, 90s, like, 70s shit. They have a fucking, you know, there's a buddy cop movie <clears throat> with Jay Leno and Mr. Miyagi. What? What? Yeah. What? Yep. Can we What's end this called? podcast yeah. right now and watch that I movie? I was saying that, and Check I was like, out. holy what shit. What the fuck's that called? I can't remember what it is. I'll have to look it up. But it was just one of those things of like, well, if you think about it, you know, it's the it's kind of like the structure of back in the day. Like you could see how your, your career path was very structured. Where it was like if you're a comic, you hit a big, you had a TV appearance, blah, blah, blah. Then you start doing movies. And it was like Mr. Miyagi was also probably coming right off a of karate kid. Yeah. And then Jay Leno was getting like, you know, popping. So like, oh, let's do like a buddy thing, you know. And then, then it probably is terrible. <laughs> but yeah, they would do shit like that all the time. I found <coughs> I found one at Seven Eleven uh, on DVD. It was uh, Emilio Estevez oh. and Samuel L. Jackson, and it's called Loaded Weapon. Yep, yep, yep. So yep. I, I've had the DVD, but I haven't watched it yet, and I'm kind of excited because I should have watched it when I was uh, growing up, but I guess I, I just missed it. Because I love shit like that. Hot yeah. Shots, that was my shit. Dude, Hot Shots was... The best Robin Hood uh, Men, Men in Tights. Tights. That's yeah. the best Robin Hood movie ever made. That was when that was a big thing too because it was Chappelle. like Chappelle. That was the he was still really young in his career, and then he got that Mel Brooks movie. So people were tripping. They were like, "Yo, did you hear? He got that. That's like it's like me getting a Mel Brooks movie." You know what I mean? No, yeah. I'm just <laughs> uh, if uh, if Woody Allen wanted you to be in a movie, would I don't you? Like that I said, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just laughed. Like I, I didn't catch the joke. Like, oh, I was catching the joke that I was like comparing myself to Chappelle. That was the joke. Yeah, but it, it is like he was like young in his career. Oh like, yeah, I guess so. I don't know why I'm defending myself. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're defending me in the use of the joke. Thank you. <laughs> you're like, you know, Frank, you are like uh, young Dave Chappelle. <laughs> oh, oh man, we already got him to lay down. Holy shit. <laughs> Uh, I feel like I'm. Diablo I feel like I got dude. fucking abducted by aliens. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> fucking LEDs, you say it? I'm just. Uh, uh, actually, he get that out of my butt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cor- wait, wait, put it back. <laughs> Corey used to. Uh, Corey actually used to shoot porn. That's why I have uh, all this dope setup. Oh, I was wondering why the couch was like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, people got fucked on this, this couch. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I think actually, think, didn't you say women squirted on this table? Tried to, yeah, that's what it was. He they wanted to have a. Wait, wait, wait! Did he really shoot porn in he here? He used to not in here, but he used to work for Reality Kings. Oh, cool! Yeah. <laughs> Why do you think there's like sheets on this couch? Codes? Which one is Reality <laughs> Kings? What's some of their uh, series? <laughs> I know, but like, but I, I, I see the the Reality Kings logo, but I'm trying to think of like. Do they do like the fucking uh, casting couch? Thing no, I think they do like the tiny uh, 4K and like the come whatever ones. Then the tiny 4K. 
Uh, <laughs> Frank's going into it. <laughs> I'm a. I, I watch. I watch way too much porn. I also know too much about the well, porn production Aries, companies. So. You know what's funny? Uh, so I've been showing my wife a lot of like YMH stuff, and they, you know, they watch a lot of like ridiculous. Like, there's a porn store they follow. The big clip that they had was the guy pushing his balls out of his own asshole. Huh? Yeah, there's a gay porn star who's really flexible and his, his nuts are very stretchy, so he was able to put his own nuts in his Sassicles asshole inside of his anus. and push them out. And so I showed it to my wife, and she was like, absolutely amazed and now it's like i will like we followed him on twitter and now he'll put and he twitter doesn't give a shit they'll post he posts like gay sex scenes on his twitter and i'll just be like oh hey babe look is that chick is that or that chick is that dude you like and i'll show her and it's like him getting fucked in the ass and she's like oh oh thank you so now it's like turned to this thing where she's never seen porn she never watched porn she was not like a a porn person yeah she was very like sheltered yeah so now i'm like well, like we'll like I'll show you porn in a very non-sexual way, and I was like, "This is this actor. That's that actor. You know what I mean? Like that's how I come at it." And she's like, uh, 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 "That's a little creepier, Frank." It's funnier <laughs> to watch her go through the motions of like, you know what I mean? I'm like, "Hey, man, this is what you voted for." I saw this shit when I was twelve. <laughs> <laughs> you know who Janet Jameson is? Well, let me tell you. Have you ever met a porn star? Yeah. Yeah. We see him a lot at the store. Yeah. Uh, I did a podcast. <laughs> You're uh, like, I did a porn. <laughs> <laughs> I did an episode with Alexis Fox, and we became friendly. She's cool. I like mm. I like her a lot. Uh, Kate Kennedy is uh, not quite on that level, but she's at the store all the time. Mm-hmm. Sylvia Sage. Sylvia Sage, super cool. Uh, she was actually a comic before she got into porn, right? And then she started getting into porn. And she was like, now I make good money. This is it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but wait, she still she does did stand comedy up. first? Yep. Did not know that. And yep. then Sovereign Sire. Yes, yes, Sovereign Sire. Yeah. Yeah, so those are the only ones, I think. There's another one, but I can't think of her. She's got like a really weird name, but she she comes to the comic store every now and then. It's always funny because you're like, hey, oh, um. <laughs> they got to get it all the time, though, right? People recognize yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely. It just depends who you're with. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to be with like, hey babe, friends. yeah, hey babe, hey, this is the chick that uh, this is the chick I whack it to when uh, you know, when you're not home, yeah, when you're not home, when I'm taking a shower, when you're sleeping. Yeah. I don't care who I'm with. If, if I like like saw Alexis Fox, I'd, I'd be like, hey, let me introduce you to my friend Alexis. She's the 2018 MILF of the year. Yeah, it's yeah. AVN too, not any yeah. no, no, yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> AVN, baby. Not any of those bullshit porn awards. This is the. The Oscars of porn. I still would love to host the AVN. Like that is still a good. That is still a dream of mine. Yeah, the awards, cool like, because that was also a thing where it was like, if it's like a, you know, if you were a comic and you got to do that, that mostly comics host that. Jim Norton. Yeah, it was kind of like a rite of passage. Yeah, dude, Vegas is probably <clears throat> so crazy during that time too, just to see everyone walking around. It's probably fucking wild. Oh, and a lot of people fucking in those hotel rooms. <laughs> well, everyone's just getting wasted too, and just like walking. Oh, it's nuts. You all right, Mitch? Yeah, I'm good, man. Man, <laughs> 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 what about uh, what are some of your? Uh, how long do you work at the store? Uh, since Halloween of 2018, so you know, coming up on closer to two years than uh than it feels like since we've been in COVID. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, how five months already, dude? Yeah, it yeah yeah fucking it's insane. How um. How did you like working there <laughs> as a door guy? I it was a fun job, work. right? Yeah, I, I, it was it was the best, dude. I, I'd go in, make some money, f- perform with some of the best comedians in the world, mm-hmm. hang out with my friends, drink. Yeah, it was. It is fucking it was a solid gig. Yeah, it's <laughs> one of the best spots. It was. I mean, it's. I fucking miss it to death. But I mean, like, what what night can <laughs> you do five minutes on a show in front of Joe Rogan? Have a bunch of people clapping and, and hooting and hollering for you one minute, and then the next minute you're fucking plunging out one of the toilets. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any of those humbling stories? And then as you're, like, walking down the hallway <laughs> with the plunger in your hand, somebody's like, hey, man, you were hilarious. And then you turn with the plunger <laughs> to be like, thanks. And, and they're like, uh-oh, ne- never mind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> any other uh, humbling <laughs> stories like that at the store? Yeah, this dude, uh, I just, I'm working the patio, and on the patio, you know, we help bus for the bartender yeah, out yeah. there. And uh, 
And this guy goes, uh, he's like, oh, shit, Mitch, Mitch Burrow? I was like, yeah. He's like, dude, I'm a huge fan. I, I heard you on uh, the 31 podcast with Brant Tobler, and uh, and I, I've been following you ever since, man. You, you're you great. And I, I was just like, oh, okay, cool, thanks. And I turned, and I had, like, all the fucking bottles and glasses in my hands for buzzing that. So I just had – this guy, had like, gave me a great comment, and then I just had to go throw away the trash. <laughs> But isn't that like, you know, isn't that just like a beautiful thing? Because you're like, one day I'll be on top and I can tell these stories when I'm at my co-worker's house. Actually, my co-worker's neighbor's, neighbor's place. Uh, <laughs> smoke a weed on his couch. Yeah, that'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> who was like, uh, who was like. Uh, you don't have to. If you want. Yeah. <laughs> who was like uh, one of the comics that you got to talk to that you were like, holy fuck. Like, I can't believe I'm hanging out with this motherfucker. Because I, you know. I sat at the VIP bar with a. Uh, with Ron White. Isn't but, that, yeah. Dude, he's just a, and it don't feel like it, you know. <laughs> it he's, doesn't. He's just chill. It is, right? Isn't he's that crazy? drinking his fucking tequila. Yeah, just chilling. I remember, um, I got, to, I remember, uh, I used to work in Temecula at this golf course restaurant, and Ron White used to come there all the time when he would perform. And uh, he'd always come by and he'd order, there was like a glass of red wine that he loved there. And I was like, I remember he came by and I was like, I was like, you want some whiskey? He was like, no, no, I came here for some more love. And I was like, what? This motherfucker, what? You're drinking wine? But I remember that was before I even started comedy for nothing. I remember just sitting there watching. I was like, oh, that dude, like, and was wanting, like, wanting to. So then when I got past I got to, like, be on the first lineup, I was there, and he was in the back bar, and he was asking me. He was like, he was like, what's it feel like? And I was like, and he was like, what's it feel like getting past? I was like, it feels like I'm a made man. He was like, uh. He was like, that's the best you can come up with? And I was like, yeah, that's that's the best that I can come up with. Feels like, feels like I'm in the mafia. And then he, like, grabbed my face and then kissed me on both sides of the cheek and was like, well, you fucking made it. And I was like, oh, shit. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Yeah, man. It was cool. He was just – and he's a cool dude. Like, he, he'll he sit and he'll talk and he'll hang out. And, yeah, he's a fucking – he's a real one. He's a cool dude, man. Oh, yeah. I remember watching him do that um, pussy, lip, pussy duck lip taco joke. Mm. Like, the first night he ever wrote it down. And, like, the first time he did it, it was really awkward. My dad was there, too, and he got to see it, and he was like, ah, yeah, they didn't really, that joke didn't really do too well. But then, like, fucking months later, my dad came back, and then Ron White came back after tour, and he did that joke, and it was, like, his closer. Yeah. And, like, it just smashed. My dad was like, oh, it's so cool there to see is. him fucking do it. Yeah. Well. It's, it's funny how it went from being one that he wasn't really doing good with, and then it's the fucking, or, or I guess what, what is in my head is that, like, even though that was his worst joke at that time, he knew that idea yeah. was was great. So, like, he, he kept pushing it and pushing it yeah, until he, it became his closer. And I remember he was like, he had it. I, he had it in his notebook, and he was like, I, there's something funny about it. And then he, like, just watching him build it. Was like, damn. Pussy double duck taco. Duck yeah. That fucking dude. <laughs> yeah, man, I miss, the, I miss fucking around, getting drunk at the store. That shit, that was, I mean, it's, it, you really do miss it when, you really, like, take it for granted now that it's gone. Like, definitely. you'd fucking hang out. Even if you're working, you could squeeze in spots on the shows if you're working the room. Um, and you could fucking, you could still fucking get some drinks while you're at the club. <laughs> and it was, like, the best place in the world, bro. <clears throat> <laughs> Are you fucking blasted oh, yeah, right man. now? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> This is so happy. <laughs> Yo, we're 25 minutes into this podcast. Uh, how long is it? <laughs> <laughs> You've got 35 more minutes. Oh, let's fucking go, baby. <laughs> oh. am, I, am, I the, am I the fastest? Mm, uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, I think you're the fastest. We haven't even done this is dabs the first time yet. that's ever been said about me. <laughs> Am I the, yeah, by the way, no one's described getting stoned on this show as, as was I the fastest? Was I the fastest to get stoned? I like to win. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a podcast you win. This is a podcast where everyone loses. Oh, I fucking <laughs> won, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we have water. Do you want some water? I fucking drank some. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. It tastes so good. Fuck. How much long do we have now? <laughs> <laughs> that had to burn through at least 10 more minutes, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is, my God. This is my problem with uh, that, those weed shows. Uh huh. It's like once you do the weed, like you go up on stage and you're like 30 <laughs> seconds into it and you're like, Man, someone must have given me the light by now. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking a minute. Feels you like were like, 20. I thought I'd tell three stories about working at the store, and then we'd be good. <laughs> by the end of it, you're like, I don't even want to take this fucking joint. Has anyone actually fell asleep? On this podcast? Yeah. No, but that actually would be kind of cool if I'm we got that. Man, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> All That's right. The most weed I've smoked. <laughs> really? Yeah. No, it was a lot of weed. It was. It was. It was. A lot, it was like an eighth of weed we smoked. Oh, <laughs> now we're just dealing with this, and I love it. Um, what is your? Now I just. I feel like I'm just asking you questions. You said red. <laughs> I see you're gonna ask. What is my favorite color? <laughs> Oh, I was gonna say, what is your favorite food to eat when you have the munchie? Oh, whatever, dude. What do you got? (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god, this is the this is this is the this is the best. This is honestly the funnest. Uh, uh, (laughs) So I won the podcast. You won the podcast. (laughs) I won the fastest smoking. <laughs> I won the best podcast. Give me uh, my award. <laughs> uh, you want to pack the puff gun for him? No, I'm just I'm just let's not uh, let's not take no, it. No, man. Him. I got to live. That's so fucking dude, I'm fucking dying. Um I definitely first dab probably I would imagine. I can't. Yeah, have you ever dabbed? Uh yeah, on one of those shows. <laughs> what happened? I, I got, fu- I got fucked up to like where I'm at right now. Like, it was pretty. <laughs> what? So what? What? Ex- you have to tell me what is. What are you experiencing right now? Motherfucker, you're high too. No, no, no. I am, you? but I can handle it though. Yeah. So it's like I can handle it. <laughs> I'm having a good time. <laughs> 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 you trying to get in my head? No, <laughs> I can handle this shit. Don't just come at me all. Ooh, I, can, I can handle it. Good. <laughs> anyway, it's a sense of euphoria. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! My eyes and my cheek, my, like my face is heavy. Oh okay. Um, and then uh, the. Uh, I don't know if it's because I had LASIK and it hurt my tear ducts or what, but like the I, the your tear ducts are hurt. Well, not hurt, but like like so my eyes since I got uh, LASIK eight years ago, they they just dr- are a little drier than okay. normal. So like the lights have like a, a haze around them. Oh okay. Yeah. When did you? Wh- <laughs> you asked me what it was like being high right now. I'm yeah, no, no, it's not, and I it's totally. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god How can anyone listen to this <laughs> <laughs> It's just you laughing Yeah it's pretty, it's pretty great, great. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man Oh okay 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 I'm, I'm better now Good. <laughs> I think we broke Mitch <laughs> I mean Oh, oh. <clears throat> Okay so, what have you been up to since uh, this quarantine's been hitting? I really got into camping. You really got into camping? Yeah. Oh, what? Yeah. What is like uh, I bought a fucking... Uh, I bought a camper that goes on... Or not a camper. I bought a tent uh-huh. that goes on top of my Jeep. That's tight. Oh, okay. On the back of like... That's so tight. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, then I just like... I pull up. Mm-hmm. I pull the ladder down. The tent pops up. And now I'm camping. That's so legit. You seem like a guy and a guy that would love fucking camping. Where's your spots? Uh, um, Eastern Sierra Nevada's... Uh, Holy shit! You like fucking camp, camp. So, so you're like driving out to places, yeah, and fucking like. So, where have you gone? Yeah, uh, up in the Los Los, Los Padres uh, National Forest. There's some cool stuff. Um, so you just camp, sit, stare at the view, crack a few beers. Yeah, dude. Uh, Hell yeah. Uh, look, I look for for different tracks. <laughs> uh, are you, wait, wait. Are you like tracking and? No, I'm just looking to see like what's on the shit, ground. Right? Oh, oh, my bad. 
Like with know? your Jeep. <laughs> I was like, tight. Like, uh, there were there were mountain lions out where I was at last time. And Fuck then you that. See, like, the, the, that, the rabbit yeah. prints where the mountain lion was chasing them. Um, this actually reminds me of a great joke. Go ahead. Uh, so... There's a a blonde, a redhead, and a, and a brunette, mm-hmm. and they're all looking down at at uh, some tracks on the ground. Uh huh. And uh, the the redhead's like, uh, I think I think they're they're bear tracks. Oh, you know what? Hold on, I messed up the track. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I fucking love street jokes. <laughs> Did you grow up on those? <laughs> I. I I messed that one up. It's, That's fine. It was just supposed to be two blondes. I don't know why I made it. Yeah, why'd you add more fucking women? <sighs> I just thought I could punch it up, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's 2020. I'm trying to get more women some fucking... All right, so these two blondes are sitting there looking at some tracks, uh, and, and the blondes is like... what The first blonde's like, I think, it, I think they're bear tracks. The other blonde is like, I think they're dog tracks, and... And then, uh, and then a train ran over them. <laughs> <laughs> they were train tracks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, you think that would be <laughs> so obvious <laughs> when you? I can, I can see it in my mind. Like, yeah, those are definitely train tracks. We should get out of the way. <laughs> Do you uh, what? <laughs> I love street jokes. My dad was a big street joke guy. Is there like someone in your family that tells a lot of street jokes, or did you just? No, you know, you just pick them up every now and then. <coughs> one of my my dad loved to tell me dirty street jokes, yeah. and one of my favorite ones was. Uh, Here we go. Yeah, we're. I mean, we'll do. We'll we'll I'm go excited. into this. You should. Um, so it's two homeless guys, right? And they're fucking dirt poor, and they just want to go get fucking shit face, right? And they have n- barely any money. So one of the homeless guy goes, uh, "Hey man, I have an idea. Give me all the money that you have on you." They scrounge up all the money they can, and they look, and they're like, all right, it's like 35 cents. He's like, all right, I got this idea. He goes, I'm going to buy this hot dog, right? And we're going to go to a bar. We're going to drink as much as we want. And every time the bartender asks us for the bill, I'm going to put this hot dog in your zipper, and then I'm going to start blowing you. And the guy goes, oh, okay. So they go to the first bar. They just order a bunch of drinks. They start fucking drinking. The bartender's like, all right, guys, time to pay up. So the guy drops to his knees and starts blowing his friend because his friend's got the hot dog in his pants, right? Yeah. But the bartender can't tell. He just looks like the guy's getting a fucking blowjob in the bar. So the bartender freaks out. He's like, get the fuck out of my bar. So they do this at every bar because they get kicked out before they have to pay the tab. Finally, it's at the end of the night. And the two guys are shit-faced walking down the street. And the, bar t- uh, the fucking homeless yeah. guy's like, hey, man. I can't fucking keep doing this anymore. My fucking knees are just so hurt and bloody from constantly hitting the ground. The guy goes, you're tired. I lost the hot dog after the second bar. (laughs) (laughs) I knew that one. No, did you? Oh, okay. I feel it was coming. (laughs) (laughs) Good old dick second joke. I was like 10 when my dad told me that joke. Appropriate. You know what? I the thing is the ten, like you don't get why that guy's so tired. A hundred percent. You're like, like what? Uh, I don't. Yeah. What does wait, he wait. Have to pick it, pick up the hot dog every time he dropped it or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> why is he so tired? <laughs> you're like guys do that. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've done this for 35 minutes. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> you burned a full 10 minutes, Mitch. Oh, shit. oh no, man, that was so much longer. Than that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh god this is i this is my absolute favorite i um, can't wait to read the youtube comments <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure they're all gonna be very positive and encouraging will you ever get this stoned again no why would anyone do this to themselves i mean this is literally how i live every day <laughs> So Sunday sad. night. No Could my you ever? Father's warned me away from people. Like you. <laughs> Could you imagine doing stand up like this? I mean, I know you've done shows like this, but I mean, I do this shit every time. No, like man. every time I go on stage, I'm no, like this high. There's no reason to. Like you, I can't function. <laughs> it's like, <clears throat> oh, I. It reminds me of a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just. How is this better than Coke? Huh? I said, how is this better than Coke? I'm not going to want to do it again and again. <laughs> and again <laughs> I, 
I hit, I hit a fucking, I hit the the peak. There's no reason to go any further. I'm not a big. Uh, I just heard he said he wants to the, hit the peak. <laughs> oh yeah, I heard he wanted to hit the peak. I'm not a big uh, coke guy. I've never done it. <coughs> Mushrooms, I've, I I think is much easier. I like I like tripping. Going yeah. On, yeah, going on trips. Do you do mushrooms when you go on them camping trips? Uh, so, yeah, most of them. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, this is the way to go, man. Just <laughs> sit up there, let nature talk to you a little bit. Now imagine smoking weed on mushrooms. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. It's a hell of an experience. Have you done LSD or acid? I did LSD once. Um, it didn't really hit me all that wild. So I, I have... I, I have plans to do it one more time just to kind of feel it out, you know? Mm. That shit seems too scary for me. It's a commitment for sure. Like How long six, is that trip? Like, I think anywhere from like 6 to 12 hours, depending on like strength. Oh, okay. Yeah. The longest I've been tripping was like 12, 13 hours. And then like the disassociation after that because the trip was so gnarly was another 12, what's the dis- hours. Wait, what's the Which disassociation? Because like, like you're back and you're not tripping anymore, but like you feel weird. Like, mm-hmm. so, like you feel like like you're not there. Like it's like kind of like a weird haze you live in. Yeah. It's really strange, man. But the only time it's ever happened to me is when I took like a lot of acid, and the next day I was just like, "Oh fuck!" Like this is I'm still fucked up. I'm always terrified you're not gonna come back. And you just feel like it just you feel like it's not. Gonna I don't end. think that's ever happened in the history of acid. LSD people not coming back. Yeah. That's I've, like that's like I've old heard wives' tales. Those are rumors. It, it happens. It happens if you're already like you susceptible to having. So like, if it's in your family and like you're already going to have a point where you crack. Like, let's say. Oh, where you have it. Where you're gonna have a like, schizophrenic yeah, like, like it's already in like your genetics. It's in the works. It can make it happen earlier. Oh, shit. So like, if it's if like so like for example, I have family schizophrenic. It does, hasn't run down any other generations, but there's always potential. Hmm. Um, so if I ever took a fuck ton, the so. youngest age you should be able to do LSD. I would still get like older. Like I first time I smoked weed, I was like sixteen. But then now I smoke it every day. I'm like, yeah, you should at least wait till you're eighteen, nineteen, like till you know what they're doing. Because it fucked my shit up a little bit. I would say I started smoking, not doing what I needed to. As far as LSD though, if you really get into that and like start tripping like in high school and shit. Who knows? Yeah. Man, I wonder if that Panda Express is going to be open on my way home. <laughs> <laughs> I know what Panda Express you're talking about. There's a sushi place right next there. I love to eat at. I think so. Yeah. I'm kind of, I'm kind of short sighted on, on my, what I'm going for. You know. What? All right. What are What are your top three places you're probably going to eat after this podcast? Uh. All right, so uh, Panda Express. Yeah, it's right, right, right. Why, so why the Panda? What, what at the Panda is is man that fucking uh, Mongolian beef is is good, dude. Yeah, and then uh, oh, what's what's that fucking yogurt place? Yogurtland. Yeah, <laughs> I should have. I almost had it. <laughs> yogurt place. <laughs> <laughs> I was so close. <laughs> 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 Mitch. Yogurt Avenue, Yogurt Street, <laughs> Yogurt Circle, ah, Yogurt Avenue, Yogurt Place, Yogurt, Yogurt. What? Okay, here's the, the Yoga thing. Place. Yeah. <laughs> 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 fucking mouth. Stop working. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you guys. <laughs> Fucks me up. This should be, this should be illegal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something about this. You're gonna <laughs> review the podcast. And leave. Are, you gonna, are you gonna give this podcast three stars and just be? I can't pull this water <laughs> to my face. <laughs> it's like the, it's like it's, I'm controlling this arm fucking remotely. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh, you're at forty minutes. I know, man. I, <laughs> just I found staring at the podcast time timer. timer. <laughs> <laughs> man, this, is the, this is the worst thing to ever go on the internet. <laughs> no, I've seen Jeremy Piven stand up. Oh fuck! Ah, uh, that is probably the worst thing to ever go on the internet. Anyways, uh, <laughs> all right. I'll ask you like two more questions, and then we'll start wrapping it up. Hey man, we can do. I can go. I can, I can, I can do this all day. <laughs> 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 Captain America. <laughs>
<laughs> okay. <laughs> you just, I just gotta lay down. <laughs> Captain America got to rest every now and then, dude. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit, Fuck. man. Oh, oh my god, this is Oh my god, this is the greatest. This is so much. This is I mean, this is so entertaining to me. Like Pretty I wonderful. Yeah. This is we actually haven't had anything like this happen yeah. on the podcast yet. So Chappelle probably would have been similar oh, if he was if he was thought about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, what were you gonna ask me? <laughs> <laughs> who, uh, who? So you, you know, we both frequent the open mic scene. What is your favorite? Like, who's like the? What's the craziest person you've seen on the open mic? Like, you know, like legends, like Mugzilla, Boon Shakalaka. You know, you've seen a lot of comedy scenes. There's always I like. I think the, this dude died, but uh, GT. <laughs> yes, GT did pass away. Yeah, but that dude was fucking horrible, man. <laughs> 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 like in comedy, it was so bad. <laughs> he used to squawk like a bird. He was actually <laughs> a sweet guy, um, one but night, he really bad at comedy. One night, uh, who Avery? Uh, what's his name that does the piano? Mm-hmm. Avery, yeah, yeah. Pearson. Pearson, yeah. yeah uh, GT was uh, doing a mic in the improv, mm-hmm. and uh, every he was saying like just the worst shit. Most fucking misogynistic, fucking like terrible, right? But every time he says something, there's like a beat, and then fucking Avery would like play a little, yeah, yeah. Like on the beat, and it just started hitting, and everyone started laughing. But you could see it in GT that he was like, I'm doing this. <laughs> <laughs> it's finally clicking. <laughs> Oh, uh, do you ever you remember Van Gogh? Uh, the artist? No, it was like a comic. It was like an open micer who would, he was like he would dress up as he dressed up as Van Gogh, and he would like I don't know if he had an easel that may, that might just be me making it up in my head, but he would look like <laughs> Van Gogh and he'd go to the open mics and he would just do like Van Gogh puns. Yeah, it was the weirdest thing I've ever Van seen. Gogh puns? Yeah. Do you remember any of them? No, it was just like. <laughs> I think you would say Van Gogh, fuck yourself. I feel like there was a vo- go fuck yourself kind of deal. Why do the fucking uh, like Brits and stuff call him Van Gogh? I don't know. Oh, they probably annou- they probably pronounce the GH a lot better. Yeah, but it's like a motherfucker's better. name. That's why you call it a Porsche, not a Porsche, because Porsche was the guy's last name. So if how did Vincent Van Gogh or Van Gogh pronounce his name? That's oh, probably uh, probably the wrong way we're pronouncing it. Because we, as Americans, butcher so many fucking foreign So names. you think he called himself Vincent Van Gogh? Yeah, definitely. Well, that's why he didn't get anything when he was alive. That's a terrible name. <laughs> Once we were able to make it Vincent Van Gogh, people were like, oh, I want to see that. Yeah. <laughs> Vincent Van go check out his fucking artwork. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you you ran the mics right at the store? Yeah, the, you mean like have I hosted? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You would do that at the goodness of your heart. Do what? Host the mics. I mean, I'm just trying to fucking do some shit, dude. You know, like. Just every opportunity I get to be on that stage, I'm gonna I'm gonna take yeah. it just so I can keep proving what I am. Yeah, I think that's the big philosophy of the store is that. I just hope none of those people I was trying to prove it to were were there last night to see what I did. <laughs> yeah, man, that open mic, fucking ugh. You see so many. It was definitely I feel like a room where people just had to like learn to get used to being themselves, and then you we would see people like show up. It's my pubic hair. You would see people show up and... Uh, you can't just whisper, that's my pubic hair. <laughs> in the middle of a story with no context. Oh, you pulled a hair off a microphone. <laughs> yeah, I mean... And then I said it was my pubic hair. People listen to this and be like, why did he just whisper, that's my pubic hair to me? <laughs> 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 All right. Yeah, yeah, that's a valid point. <laughs> oh, uh, can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god um, I mean I fucked up Now there's audio of me saying That's my pubic hair <laughs> <laughs> That people can fucking Cut out And just play on repeat As their ringtone or something <laughs> Do you ever worry That people are gonna do Stuff like that uh, with Oh the- man When I When no one knew me 
Like when I was on the lower the lowest level, I <laughs> I did a fucking I did a podcast where I said uh, I was like defending uh, the, the gay people. I don't remember, but I I basically said like look if if you're a, a man and you're like I'm a man and I love men then blah 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 someone fucking cut out the part where i said i'm a man and i love men <laughs> and whenever <laughs> whenever i would call him that was the ringtone <laughs> So his phone would just start going, I'm a man and I love men. And then he'd be like, oh, that's Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, that uh, that fuck around like group of friends who would do that shit to you is like, the, is like yeah, that's that, that's your the homies. shit. You, yeah, your homies. You still pretty close with all your homies back in the... No, I fucked. I left all those people behind. They mean nothing to me. <laughs> <laughs> are there any exes or anyone that uh, are the, like, damn, Mitch is making it? And you're like, yeah. Well, none of them are saying that. First oh, okay, of all. cool. Well, one damn. day they will. <laughs> 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 oh. I want to I wanna be so successful that I ruin a bitch's Thursday night because she turns on NBC and it's like, coming up next, it's Mitch Burrow in this. Followed by Mitch Burrow in this. <laughs> and a special screening of Mitch Burrow in this. And it's like, yeah, bitch, you fucking... I, I ruined NBC for you. Yeah, that'd be great. I'd love Or CBS, actually. I like. I really liked uh, The Mentalist. So oh. I, I, if I could be associated with that network, I'd like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any show, any, any like pilot or, or spec that I write, if the character's watching TV, it, it always says... While the mentalist plays in the <laughs> <country>. <laughs> Why do you like the mentalist so much? It's just a very good show. Patrick Jane was an excellent character. <laughs> it's got murder and mystery and intrigue. <laughs> what more do you want? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mitch, I'm. This is this was this is probably one of my favorite ones to do, just because one you're so blasted, and it's <laughs> <laughs> my mouth is dry as fuck. Dog. <laughs> All right, is there anything you want to plug before we get out of here? I can't get up. <laughs> oh, that's the fattest I've ever looked. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, we still got 11 minutes. All right, we still got 11 minutes. <laughs> what, <can> you? <laughs> what, man? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. my God. Oh, What have you been working on while well, you've been in quarantine? Oh, I made these cool videos about being a door guy. Oh, the, yeah, those are actually yeah, really funny. Very story. funny. My roommate, Dave Waite, another door guy, he came up with the idea and... Uh, we we wrote all these fucking little things together. Yeah, did you get any love? Yeah, Chris D'Elia retweeted the first one. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end of our podcast. <laughs> it did, man. He he retweeted it and it got like hundred and twenty five thousand views in one day. That's great. So at the beginning of of, of fucking of quarantine, me and Dave were like, "Go, Chris!" <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then at the end of quarantine, we were like, "Oh, Chris!" <laughs> <laughs> oh. It turned into an episode of Everybody Hates Chris. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's hysterical! I said uh, towards the end, of, uh, this could just be towards the 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 middle of fucking quarantine. We don't know. Yeah, we don't know. Yeah, we no know. idea. If uh, the store opens back up, are you going to go back if as a door guy? Yeah, man, I'm fucking broke, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I could go back. I mean, you're a paid regular. Yeah, yeah it's all perception, right? Yeah. I can't, yeah, I can't go back. No, no. <laughs> fucking, you get, you, if you're a door guy and you get bumped up to it, if you get passed to be a paid regular... You got you got to quit that job that day. You can't <laughs> quit that job that day. <laughs> I'm, you give them a two weeks notice, but that's you have to have that plan. You you cannot you cannot be a paid regular and be working there as a door guy. I mean, yeah, no, it is not feel well. <laughs> and I mean, like I think, like you, I, 
I'll give you a pass, like doing the phones. Oh yeah, no, no, absolutely. If that's why, like, I was straight. Like phones. I could do that, but there's yeah. no way I could fucking. I'm not gonna park <laughs> another pay, the paid regular who's got a fucking spot five minutes before me. Yeah, no, I'm it's not gonna yeah. park their car. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The fuck out of yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I agree with that. You should definitely go I'm not switch the phones. Seat people and then be on the lineup later in that show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's also tough because it's like, you know, getting pads doesn't you immediately. Gotta, you know what? It figure doesn't, your shit out. It doesn't immediately solve your money problems, you know? <clears throat> I will figure my shit out. Dude. Yeah. That's what you have to do. And that's what I feel like I'm doing now. That's why it's like I can't go back. Yeah. Now that it's moving. Yeah. You have to capitalize on the fact that not all, only are you the season two champion of Rose <laughs> I fucking hate you so much. <laughs> you're also a, a paid regular at the World Famous Comedy. Those Absolutely, are two yeah. amazing credits yeah, yeah. that you should be using to your advantage. Absolutely. Also, do you have a Patreon for this? Not yet. Man, you got to set that up because this is entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this would be a fucking this would be like if you had YouTube this would be a a, a special YouTube premium episode of you yeah of Mitch getting if fucking people wanted to stream this they it, this this shit ain't free baby <laughs> <laughs> you want to see Mitch get blitzed? You got to pay. <laughs> you want to see Mitch lie on the couch for about a good 30 minutes? Uh, <laughs> I didn't even do that. I sat up most of the no, time. No, you did. I was just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I got so serious. I know you got so defensive. <laughs> hey, man. <I'm> <laughs> hey, man. I showed up. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Okay, okay. Oh, man, I want this Bud Light light on the wall. That That is tight. Oh, we didn't turn it on. You want to turn it on? Is it supposed to be on? Usually we turn it on. Oh, you guys. That could have been on behind me the whole time. Yeah. Oh, man, I bet that's cool as fuck. <laughs> I got to see what that. Oh, you can't see it. <laughs> no, I mean in the video. Like, you, yeah. No. No one knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's fucked up. <laughs> people, people are just going to be like, Mitch is retarded. <laughs> There's nothing above his head. You know? I thought he was going to go over there and move the camera up so it would show up. But I think he's just zooming in on my belly or something. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah, see? <laughs> oh boy! Oh, shit. Good save. <laughs> All right. Anything you want to plug before we get out of here? Man, what is there? What, what are we gonna? Yeah, wear a mask. <laughs> 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 so I can have some shit to plug. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you have a podcast that you do with Jesse Johnson? We did a we did one together. At the comedy store. Oh, okay. But yeah, like if people want to see that, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to do it more. Yeah. I want to do uh, my my pitch because they want you to like do like four hours of content. Mm -hmm. So my pitch would be I do a two hour podcast similar to what I did with a short break. And then the second part of the night do a comedy themed uh, trivia night. Oh, okay. Or comedy, comedy slash Hollywood, <coughs> you know, because we're on the Sunset Strip. Yeah. You know, like, uh, this hotel was previously known as the Hyatt Riot. Um, what is the... You don't have to answer the four Oh, okay. I don't, know. I, don't know how, I don't know how, I don't know how, I don't know how trivia works. <laughs> What's the answer, bitch? Oh, <laughs> I don't know. The Hyatt? <sighs> the Andaz. Oh, okay. Right next to us. Do you don't know all the stories about that hotel? I know a dude jumped off of it. Steve Lebetkin. Yeah, but that's okay. Oh, yeah, that was going to be the second part of the question. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to add. Who also uh, did not, he was aiming for Mitzi's car and he missed. Instead, he hit the ramp because he did not get a running start. But also, that's like 40 feet. Yeah, it's a fucking I don't think, space. Like, you don't, people you think you just jump <laughs> and you keep going. You actually just jump as far as you jump and then you just drop straight down. Yeah. It's not the Looney Tunes. <laughs> 
Dude, that's isn't that the best when they like step off a ledge and don't realize it? Yeah. yeah. And then they step like four or five more feet. And then they're like, and then they look at the camera like, oh. And it's like thirty <laughs> seconds have passed, and then they're like, oh yeah, I guess gravity doesn't work. You want to do one more hit before you go? T- no, or? Fuck you. <laughs> Check me out on TikTok, uh, Instagram, Twitter. Everything is at Mitch Bro. Have you blown up on TikTok? Yeah, I got like, uh, I mean, blown up. No, I got twelve thousand followers. That's that's great. Uh, yeah, that's pretty nice. And it's all like I was just doing uh, Zodiac stuff. Yeah. What? Horse, I was doing horoscopes. Like, red oh. Like horoscopes. <laughs> what are you, my wife? No. <laughs> Would you get a tarot card reading? <laughs> yeah. Are you into that? I'm going to start doing tarot cards, yeah. My wife is into tarot cards. Yeah, the first thing I'd want to find out is why you don't pronounce that last T. Is it tarot or tarot? It's tarot. tarot. It's yeah. tarot, right? That's what I'm saying. I want to find out why. Oh, oh. I wasn't saying it's part you. part of the mystery. Oh, okay. I got very defensive. <laughs> yeah. Someone, someone gets very... Uh, oh, God damn it. <laughs> Absent-minded, apparently. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Mitch. Do you have fun? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, is, this is terrible. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this podcast one star. <laughs> I'm going to downvote it. Fuck, man. Don't, don't ever do this to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> nah, this is a good, good job. I'm high. What if I just like uh, was just like, huh. all right, guys, uh, that was great. Uh, and just get totally thanks normal. For, thanks for letting me play around. Uh, <laughs> uh, that was uh, some weak shit. And, uh, <laughs> uh, that's not going to happen, though. Uh, just walk I'm straight through the wall. <laughs> uh, when, wait, before we go, when you go to Panda Express, how are you going to get the two entrees and uh yeah but i get three. half a scoop of i don't let them, i don't let them do the, all the rice that's that's too much yeah they really fuck you on the rice yeah. like rice and chow mein usually i fuck with chow mein yeah the half and half i fuck with fung chow i fuck with <laughs> fung chow <laughs> all right well thank you guys so much <laughs>